Okay, real quickly, I want to show that the New King James Version preaches another gospel. All right, and uh, so we're going to first one I'm going to show you is 1 Corinthians 1, verse 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved. It is the power of God. So let's go. Let's go uh, compare that with the New King James Version. And by the way, the King James Version, it, it's not a version. It's the Bible. The King James Bible. And it's not a version. So let's go to verse 18. In the New King James Version... It says, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. All right, so, the New King James Version is preaching this idea that you're being saved, that you're not saved yet rather you're being saved it, that's an obvious problem because you are if once you are born of the Spirit of God you have Jesus living in you you have God in you you have the Spirit of God in you you will never die you shall never thirst you shall never hunger you are sealed unto the day of redemption once saved always saved is the gospel of Jesus Christ there is no other gospel and without it it is impossible to have peace so no you're not being saved you are saved so and then let's go to another one 2nd Corinthians 2 verse 15 for we are unto God a sweet Savior a sweet savor excuse me, of Christ in them that are saved and in them that perish. So let's compare that with the New King James Version. And by the way, the New King James Version is not a New King James Bible at all. All right, the only the only reason they came out with this name is to draw people away from the King James Bible the true Word of God in the English language that's the only reason and we'll see here let's go first here highlight this one and then in verse 15 in the New King James it says for we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. All right, again, it's the New King James Version is preaching another gospel, and it rejects, it's rejecting uh, once saved, always saved, the true gospel of Jesus Christ. And so let's do another one here, real quickly. Oh, let me think, what is it, Luke 21, 51? I don't remember. I don't remember nothing. Let me think about this. Luke twelve fifty one. There it is. Uh, Jesus says, Suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. Do you catch that? Jesus has come to bring division now what's the let's uh what's the new king james version have to say about people that come to bring division let's find out the new king james let's do it this way hold on a sec let's do it this way 
in the King James Bible says, A man that is an heretic, after the first and second admir admission, reject. The New King James Version, reject a divisive man. Reject Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? that X at? There it is. Let's do it this way. Now, you'll find this, I find this interesting. Alright, so you got the King James says, if a man is an heretic, <laughs> okay, uh, if a man is an heretic, after the first and second admonition, Admonition, reject. All right, so um, this word divisive. Let's f highlight that if we can, and see who agrees with the New King James perversion. <clears throat> okay, the CSB reject Jesus Christ. The CJB reject Jesus Christ. I mean, that's what I'm reading, right? The ESV. As for a person who stirs up division, like Jesus, reject that guy. Yeah. Yeah, let's get this gets my blood going a little bit. All right, you see why there's a this is a big deal. This is not a small deal. Right, these Bible perversions are teaching people to if you just put the pieces of the puzzle together, it's teaching to reject Jesus Christ. The NASB. Reject Jesus Christ. Warn them. Alright, and then, I mean, it gets nastier. It really does. Right, there's the new King James perversion. perversion. Alright, I mean, look at it. It's following all of these modern perversions. The New King James is not a New King James version at all. Can we do this here? Let's go to the King James. Knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth, being condemned of himself. Talking about a heretic. But then you flip that to talking about a divisive person. Talking about reject Jesus Christ. He's a divisive person. Knowing that such a person like Jesus is warped and sinning and being self-condemned. I mean, this stuff is... you got to stay away from it. you got to stay with the true Word of God, which is the King James Bible. It's a big deal. It's not a small deal at all. 